Every year, Kentucky Youth Advocates releases what they call the Kids Count County Data Book, and they say the numbers in this book show it's more important than ever to invest in daycare workers, teachers, juvenile justice workers, the kind of people who touch kids' lives every day. It's tough when you are in a situation you can't control. 22-year-old Demarius Jackson Martin grew up in and out of foster care, but he says one person in particular helped him see his potential a high school counselor. Me graduating high school is not the biggest accomplishment in my life, but it's one of the greatest milestones that I could ever do. And I feel like without her help and support, I, I wouldn't have graduated. Jackson Martin was among those who attended Wednesday's press conference at the Louisville Office of Kentucky Youth Advocates. We are talking about numbers that should be the roadmap for Governor Bashir and leadership in the Senate and House working together. 21.2% of children in Kentucky live in poverty, and only 46% are kindergarten ready. 52% of the state's fourth graders are not considered proficient in reading. At the same time, there's a shortage of daycare workers, teachers, and counselors, what Terry Brooks calls the kid workforce. He's urging state lawmakers to support ways to make it easier to recruit and retain these workers. One idea we suggest in the essay that is gaining popularity is the idea of a professional perk package. I mean, can you imagine if you talk to classroom teachers or frontline social workers about a paid sabbatical? I mean, blow their mind. Jackson Martin says it's an investment in Kentucky's future. The kids now, the kids are the, that are in school are our future lawmakers. If we don't help them, he says, Kentucky could fall further behind. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.